just such a beautiful, quiet horse um, at the track and such a, a lovely type. Um, everyone comments on him now, what a beautiful, what a beautiful type of horse he is. So and his temperament, that drew me to him. He was just not a top, top level racehorse and he was quite lightly raced for his age. He retired sound, luckily. Um, his owners just decided that his heart wasn't in it anymore and luckily Toby recommended that he just be retired, not sold on. Um, so I was lucky enough to take him five years ago last week. Um, he was a bit of a late birthday present actually, so it's pretty good. He's just taken to jumping so well and he's jumped fantastically the first two days here at Stonewall. It's really nice the European blood in him. Um, I think that is a lot of the reason why he's such a beautiful type of horse. So well bred and he has a lot of scope. He's got a great style over the jumps. Um, he is a bit quirky like he's very horse shy and very shy of everything in the warm-up um, but once he gets in the ring he's, he's really professional and he makes a beautiful shape over the jumps. Um, and yeah, he's, he's jumped some super rounds here this weekend. I'm really happy with him. Well, YPO was my absolute favourite of all time. Um, I strapped him just about every start of his career until I until I left the stables for something to do something different. He was such such a good racehorse. So he beat Pirata, went on to win multiple Group Ones. He raced at Magic Millions three-year-old guineas out to 1,400 metres, which he was probably at his top at 1,200. Um, he was just such a great horse. He had a few soundness issues. He got to the point in his racing career where he wasn't able to race at the top level and he wasn't suited to be sold on somewhere else. And I'm really grateful to his owners to allowing him to retire with me. And One Inch Punch has already had a pretty successful career, but he's definitely got a bit more to go.